Hey guys! So I just tweeted, well I didn't just tweet, I tweeted a couple hours ago. If you guys wanted to see a contour and highlight video today or if you wanted to see the look that I had in my favorites video with kind of the purple smoked out lower lash line. And it was kind of a tie. Um, I do think that contour and highlight did win but there was a lot for the smoked out lower lash line. So I kind of combined that at the end of the video because it's really really easy. So I didn't want to do a whole video on it because when you see what I do you'll be like oh that's easy. So I did um, add it in at the end of the video, but this is mainly going to be a how I contour and highlight. Lots of you guys have been asking for an updated version of that, so that's what I did today. I absolutely love contour and highlighting. I think that it just pulls your whole face together. It definitely is my favorite part of doing my makeup. If I do wear a full face of makeup, I'm always going to contour and highlight. I just can't live without it. I love it. It does take a little time to get used to contour and highlighting, so if you're not great at it right away, don't worry. Nobody ever is. So I hope this video helps you guys out. And remember, this is just my way of contouring and highlighting. I'm not telling you guys that this is how you have to do it. I'm just showing you my ways, and hopefully it'll help you in your ways. So if you guys want to see how to contour and highlight and how to get a smoked out lower lash line, then just keep watching the video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, so I already have on my foundation. You guys have seen me put on my foundation a bajillion times so I figured that I would just go ahead and skip it. I do have on um, L'Oreal True Match in W5 and I applied it with a beauty blender which is hiding back here and we need you so come up here. And I applied it with a beauty blender. A damp beauty blender. I just have foundation on and no powder on top of it or anything. The first thing I do is I take NARS Laguna which is just a darker color than what I usually contour with which is Hoola. So I take NARS Laguna and then just a small kind of fluffy eyeshadow brush. And then I use this to just define where I want my contour. Now if you don't want a super strong kind of intense contour, you don't have to do this. I like mine to be very defined and very structured so that's why I start with this first. So you can go from the top of your ear, kind of like right here, and that should be your perfect line. I'm going to take this kind of all the way down to kind of my lip. And then I kind of take it up like right here. Kind of draw like a little triangle in there. You can use any kind of brush that you want. I like to take a smaller brush to kind of blend out my contour. So the one that I used to use was from Sedona Lace, and it's just like a dome brush like this. But recently I've been using the Real Techniques contour brush. I just like this one a lot better. Um, it's a little smaller, and I feel like it blends everything out a lot better. Then I just take Hoola Bronzer to kind of blend this out and make it a little bigger. And you want to do kind of circular motions because it helps blend it all out and not have any like harsh lines, even though we do that one. <laughs> now I'm going to do um, my highlight underneath my eyes. And for this, I just take a little bit of the Tarte um, Smooth Poreless because it's kind of like a nice silicone-based primer. And I just put this right underneath my eyes, just a little bit, like seriously the smallest amount. I'm going to use Max Prep and Prime. It's just kind of a yellow highlight, which is twist up like this. If you can hear Jeremy's music, Jeremy's DJing out there. Um, and we're just going to put this right under our eye, kind of in that triangle motion. And then I'm just going to put some right here by my cupid's bow. I'm going to do a little down the nose and then we're going to flare a little up here. And just a little right here. I take this small little brush from Real Techniques. This is a base shadow brush and I'm just going to blend this out. Take 
taking it all the way back to the hairline will just kind of intensify um, your contour that you have below it. But if you don't want to take it back that far, don't feel like you have to. But when I contour and highlight, I like a very strong contour and highlight. Sorry I keep flopping my hair all around, it's just like annoying me today. Let me pin it back. I don't have anything to pin my hair back with. Cool. Okay, that's better, right? So then on top of this, I like to put my concealer. And I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer. And seriously, all I take is one pump. Not even a full pump. Like that much. And then I'll just take my finger and kind of dot this under here. I really like this concealer because it doesn't crease on me, which is amazing. Because I have a lot of fine lines like underneath my eyes. And that's seriously all the concealer that I use. There's still some on my hand. The that's the only thing that I don't like about it is because I feel like you waste so much concealer. So then I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender again to just blend that out. Kind of tapping it. Going right back. I kind of squint my eye like that too, so it gets all up in there. And to set that, let's use banana powder. I'm just going to tap some out here on my little table that I have. And then I'm just gonna take a little, this is a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just gonna tap it in there and kind of pop that right under here. Squinting my eyes again. You can hear Jeremy DJing because Gucci just opened the door. Booby. Like that. Pink Swoon and Warm Soul. I'm gonna put this on first though. Smile. And then I like to push mine all the way back kind of to my hairline. And for the people that are new to my channel that always ask why I close one eye, <laughs> which I'm doing right now, um, I learned it from my art teacher. It was like, for some reason, he noticed that I would like struggle when I was doing stuff and he told me to look at it from one eye, like for, just close one eye and look at it from that and I felt like I could see things a lot better. So I've been doing my makeup one eyed for a really long time and to me I just can concentrate better on what I'm doing. I know some people don't like it but whatever. But for the purpose of the video I am going to use a shimmer highlight. This is MAC Soft and Gentle and that's Boo Boo back there. And I'm just going to take a Sedona Lace fan brush and just run this right here. Last but not least, I take a large um, stippling brush and kind of blend everything together to make sure there's no harsh lines, everything's nice and blended, and you don't look like a weirdo when you leave the house. And that is it. That is how I contour and highlight. And really quickly, since I took that Twitter poll and it was like up in the air of which one you guys wanted to do, I am going to show you really quickly how to smoke out your lower lash line like I had in my favorites video. So all I did was I took Max uh, Chromographic Pencil. This is in Rich Purple. And I'm just going to run a little bit of this right under my lash line. Then taking a pencil brush, you're just going to want to smudge this out.
the color purple that I used was actually from this BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette and it's this purple right here so I put on kind of this is like a matte purple and the best way to smoke out colors is if you take like a matte color and then you take a shimmery color the shimmer the shimmery color is going to actually make it a lot easier to smoke it out if I tried to use like a matte color it would kind of mesh it all together and it wouldn't look as cute fluffy shader brush like this go in with that purple and then go right under it now I like to take mine down pretty far I like to take it down kind of right where my eye creases underneath but if you don't want to take yours down that far don't feel like you have to This kind of brush really helps to um, smoke it out under here. You can do this with any color as well also. I just like purple because it goes good with brown eyes. Boom. That is complete. It's super, super easy to smoke out your lower line. Just remember, if you're using kind of like a pencil, um, eyeliner to go ahead and lay down your base and it's kind of a matte color definitely use a shimmer color it's gonna help you smoke it out a lot easier as opposed to you using a matte color so other than that that is everything that is how I contour and highlight and that is how I smoke out a lower lash line so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye